What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Biker Mike Motors. Here today at Copart Mobile Yard, taking a look at, uh, actually, I think we're down to just one truck today, but it was my number one pick for the day. The other two, one of them has not been brought out from the inventory yard yet, and the other one, I guess they just, I get deleted off the site, so it either got brought back by the seller or I'm not sure what happened to it, but my list of three cars, I'm gonna look to see if I can find another one around here. I usually do, but we might only be having one car today. So I'm gonna get around here, try to find this thing, and we'll get into this first one. First one we got up on the list today, and possibly the only one, is this 2020 Chevy Silverado. And I had this phone, the last few videos have been with this same, uh, it's my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I, I just found out the other day that I could put it into 4K mode so you guys let me know if the picture is coming out a little clearer for this video because i literally just found out my phone could do that thanks to jack for teaching me that but back to the silverado guys this thing uh this caught my interest because in the pictures it didn't look like anything was wrong with it it's listed as a salvage title for vandalism and i just walked up to it so you know we're looking at it here the first time together one thing i do see we'll do a full walk around but i'm gonna get back to a little something i see here quick and it'd be something good for you guys to just keep in mind too when you're out here but i can already see an issue with it can you guys tell what it is other than this bumper here i did see that in the pictures but the bumper is hit back here on the right you're gonna need a new bumper not a huge deal not a huge deal this side of the truck well i'm giving you guys a little hint this side of the truck looks good it's the other side where the issue is that i see and it's hard to see it's not it's probably not even coming up on camera so but while you're out here looking at these things in person definitely something you want to pay attention to especially something this new you wouldn't expect this but i can see already this definitely the door here I'm, i think the yeah the whole side of the truck here there's a little paint bubble right here and i can see it if you guys know you ever hear of the term orange peel with paint it's kind of when something's been repainted and um i'm not a painter body guy so i don't know the exact causes of it but it definitely wouldn't come like this from the factory there's a lot of uh i'm not sure if it's going to come up here on camera but there's a lot of orange peel in this paint so you could tell this at least this door and this fender have been repainted let's check this back door yeah yep there's trash in the paint here you can see that and that, that's a term of just, you know, you get dust and little debris in the paint and it shows up as uh, little specks and dots in the paint like that. And like I said, something this new, I did not expect that. I figured vandalism would have been a theft recovery and that would have been it. Um, we got some damage here, which I did not see in the pictures either. And this whole side is orange peel here too. So this, this whole side, the whole driver's side of this truck has been painted whole driver's side um i do not know why but it's, it's it's all been painted and we got a little scuff right there and back here the orange peel is probably the worst worst on this side of the truck is this back part of the bed here ah uh, man i was honestly looking at bidding on a truck that you know hopefully i could have maybe something for myself to drive that was nice for a little bit or just you know put it right up for sale but I guess at the right price, I guess at the right price, we can go ahead, see how this thing looks on the inside. Maybe it'll sway my decision a little more, but oh yeah, it's, it's, it's clean. What you'd expect from a 2020 sunroof, which is a must for me, <laughs> definitely a must high country, which I think is one of the higher option to package of the Silverados. And it's clean. I love that, uh, kind of peanut butter and black seats there. Man, it is. Smells like a new truck inside. You got an oil change sticker up here. So at least they were taking care of that. Uh, looks like a cover for this is missing. It's a lot of, huh, looks like the rear view mirror has its own computer here, I guess. Not sure about that, not sure about that. And one thing, while I, if you see something like this that has, um, you know, it's been painted on the side here, I try to look for a, uh, you know, either a paint line, which I do kind of see a little bit of a paint line there. Ooh, a little spider web down there, which means it's probably been sitting for a while too. And I also look to see if these bolts have been touched. You know, some places they, you could tell you'll see uh, marks on them like they've been taken off. I don't see that. Oh, yeah, I do see that on that one there. 
and this one there yeah so these these doors have been off to be painted you can see marks on the bolts there's no reason there should be a mark on the bolt unless the door has been off for some reason that's really pretty clean i mean it, you know like i said what you'd expect you got the rubber mats in here which is nice ah uh, you got a little stain in the seat here i'm sure that could be cleaned up Oh, look at that. It even comes with a nice bike. Well, I just say a bike. We got some wooden handle grips. That's pretty cool. I feel like ripping some wheelies around town. Getting some better gas mileage. I'm um, thinking this thing is completely dead because I didn't see anything come up here. Nope. No power. Completely dead. We'll go ahead and put the jump pack on it. All right, guys. We got our NOCO hooked up should have power to it and i just gotta say i really like the look of these trucks silverados for like the last two decades have always been my favorite style trucks um, i actually like some of the older ones like the square bodies better but just for a gas vehicle for a gas burner truck for the past two decades i would have picked silverado or sierra over anything else and the five threes five sevens four eights i mean they've all been great engines I think this, oh, that's another thing too. This has the 6.2 in it, which is one of their, you know, it's the newer, I think this is one of the first years they put, or, or the first year they put it in here, but. Oh yeah, good old NOCO. That NOCO jump pack's been great. I highly recommend that. If any of you guys are looking for a good jump pack, NOCOs are just uh, great jump packs, great jump packs. All right, well, we instantly have a check engine light on. Let's go ahead and close the door here. Do we got any heated seats in this in this thing? Oh yeah, and ventilated seats. The high country. Okay, 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 okay. Starting to, I guess, you guys comment below and tell me what you think. Is this worth it for any price or would you be scared of having this side? They probably side swipe something. I don't know how bad. Oh, I can already feel that ventilated seat too. I, I don't know how bad. I, a lot of times I see that and I check up here to see, you know, this is where the side airbags would be so a lot of times if there was a bad hit on this side the airbags would have went off and you can see you know stuff won't be lined up the same and everything in here i mean this one looks fine i don't see any signs of like a major accident and if there was they did a pretty good job fixing it but i mean what, what do you guys think about that i gotta i gotta do some thinking on this one and i'm really you know these, this is an expensive truck if you're throwing down some money for this thing it's probably not going to go very cheap and i already see there's a crack in the windshield right there i don't know how well that's going to come out but it's right there so i mean that not a huge deal but you know you're already getting something that needs some work and i don't mind putting a bumper on but you know would you go through with having this whole side painted again probably not probably not you'd probably just leave it but if I was going to sell it, I would, I would myself, at least I would disclose that. And I would let the person know, you know, this side I can tell has been painted. And I guess doing an auto, you know, history report would be a good idea too. on especially something like this. Oh, that seat feels good. That seat feels good. Check engine light got me a little concerned. I'm not sure which transmission came in this year. I know they did switch between like an eight speed and a 10 speed i'm not sure which one's in here but i know that they did have some issues with the transmissions in some of those so not 100 percent sure which one's in here i'm gonna have to do a little research on that um as you'd expect the ac feels good i'm trying to find where i can uh turn that fan up just a little bit let's see maze it up here this guy, guys, this is a lot of technology for me. I'm more of a 90s, early 2000s car person. This, uh, my first car was a 99 Bonneville, and my second car was a 91 240 SX. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I'm used to. I thought that 99 Bonneville having a sunroof and, you know, all power options was extreme luxury at the time. But, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there we go, right in front of my face, right in front of my face. Oh, yeah, cold, cold AC. Very cold. Give it a little rev here, see how it sounds. Yeah, sounds good. Idling very smooth. 
open then close driver window. Hmm. Like some kind of reset procedure, I guess. Open then close passenger window. Oh, okay, the automatic was working on the way down, not on the way up though. Hood open. Yep, I know the hood's open. Thank you though. 27,000 miles. Let's go ahead see if we can put this thing in four-wheel drive too if i can find the four-wheel drive button oh yeah right here there we go shift in progress and it looks like we're in four-wheel drive let's go ahead i think we got to put it in neutral to go to four low and there we do four low and it's blinking 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 okay we're in four low and we should be able to tell yeah oh yeah you can feel that thing Yep, yep. Electronic parking brake, 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 brake released. Oh man, we got some, uh, we got some Gillette aftershave in there. In case you're looking for any of that. I mean, oh, I like this thing. I, I like this thing. I can't lie. I can't lie. These are comfortable seats. I love that he, uh, the cooled seats and the you know heated seats, all the options like that. I'm a big fan of those little creature comforts. I like that stuff. Sunroof, one of the most important, the most important window to me. Let's see if, uh, let's see if she works. Oh yeah, of course. Nice and smooth, like you'd expect out of a new truck. Oh man, I am. Uh, is that back window? It's got to be an electronic back window, right? Oh yeah, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. This is stuff, this is like, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like that's uh, all these options in here. I am not used to it. I drive on the daily, I have a, you know, 05 E150 van. That's what I drove here today. And compared to that, this is, uh, this would take some learning to get used to all these little options and creature comforts in here. But like I said, I love this stuff. I do love this stuff. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and put it back in two wheel drive. Just make sure. Oh, it's nice. It has an auto mode, too. You see that? Like an all-wheel drive mode. I do like that as an option as well. <sighs> Let's get a little peek underneath this thing. It sounds good, though. It sounds good. Went right into gear. The gears feel good. <clears throat> it's got me thinking right now. It's got me thinking. Let's check this back pillar out here. Is there any... It doesn't look like all this right here, all this here looks like factory paint. There's no orange peel and nothing's been, you know, painted over, over spray or anything like that. And also inside the, I guess this would be the C pillar here, all this looks like factory paint as well. So I don't think this side took a major impact. It probably just, oh, let's look at that too though. You got that running board should be coming out there, shouldn't it? Let's check the other side quick, see if the other side works. And that is also really weird. Look at that. There's, it's got two lug nuts on it. Why? And it, I bet it's just on this side. I haven't even looked yet, but I bet it's just on this side. Weird little stuff. And I, a lot of the reason I like to make these videos is hopefully you guys watching, you take some stuff out of this for what to watch for yourself. Cause you can get really, you know, it's, it's really easy to get caught up in the hype and the, you know, the pictures and the bid and, if you don't come out here and look at this stuff, you may think something like this is, is just a bumper because that's all it's listed as is vandalism and bumper. But as you can see, you know, this, this wheel here too, you got two lug nuts on it. Why? You know, to me, that's like someone did a fix on it, but didn't go all the way through with fixing it correctly. And that to me is like, you know, if they did that, what else did they, what else didn't they fix on it? And also I just noticed it. And now I can't find it again. But I did see there was a run in the paint over here as well. Where did I see that? Oh, it's right here. I'm not sure if that's going to come out on camera. But there's a run in the paint. So, to me, you didn't get the best paint job. Whenever there was an incident over here, it was not. It was probably more cosmetic than anything. But, you know, why these little things like this it's like the vehicle's talking to you you know you're missing lug nuts on each wheel on this side let's check the other side 
got a dent right here, which I also just noticed. And for a 2020 truck, you got scrapes right here on the tail light. It looks like those would probably come out, but also I just noticed this. Oh yeah, we're missing lug nuts on each side. Missing lug nuts on each side. I think we're gonna make this, this video is gonna be a one vehicle video because there's a lot, this truck is a very good example of what to come out here and look for and show you guys the stuff that can be really hidden from just looking at the pictures that you would never notice unless you came out here to look at it. Cause this thing, <laughs> there's a nail in the tire here. I just, ah, uh, this would have to be a very low bid compared to what it's retail is for me to bid on it. You guys comment below and tell me what you think you would bid on it, but I'm seeing way too many little things here. Let's see if we open this door, does the, uh, yep, there we go. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> I think came, came back and let's see if it goes back in. Okay, it does go back in, it does go back in. I'll show you guys what happened there. It came back and tried to hit me in the leg there. Pushed me, <laughs> pushed me out of the way. And it looks like it actually came back a little farther. Is, is, are, Anybody that knows these, are they supposed to come back that far? That thing looks like it's like almost touching the wheel there. I don't think that looks like something's bent underneath there to me. And the other side, like you guys seen, that, that side's not even working at all. Ah, uh, well, this is uh, a good example of when they say there's a reason it's at the auction. There's, I think there's a lot of reasons this one's here. Let's check. Is there any wheel that has all the lug nuts on it? Nope, they all have two lug nuts. So someone, to me, that says someone was, maybe they had a set of wheels on it, but they were that hell bent to get rid of it that they, it just slapped the stocks back on and put two lug nuts to hold it on and send it to auction. And I can actually, actually see some, uh, that engine looks pretty dirty for a, a newer style engine. And this, uh, I was going to say I could smell a little coolant, which I think I can smell a little coolant, too. It smells like a little bit of coolant burning. Yeah, guys, I kind of... I talked myself out of this one. I talked myself out of this one. So, like I said, it's going to be the only truck we're showing today, but this is a very, very good example. And you guys seen the tires over there. They're a lot better tread. This side, the tread is a lot lower. Um... We, just too too many too many potential issues on this thing. We'll leave it running for a minute here. I'll roll down that window just so it doesn't try to lock us out. We'll take a look underneath here. Maybe we can see what's bent. Ugh. I can also see. I'll show you guys in a second. But I can see that door line is off too for the driver door. Underneath here, so you can see anything. I can't really see too much in there. I'm just looking at the screen right now. So you guys tell me if you see anything under here that looks off to you. Yeah. As much as I'm gonna be able to show you guys there, but that's, uh, here is the, the front of the running board here. And like I said, this side, as you can see, it's not working at all. And that door at the bottom here, look at this gap here. You guys see that? It's it's not sticking out a ton, but you know, it's, that's not how it is. That's not how it's supposed to be. You got a gap right there at the bottom where the front door is sticking out maybe about a half a centimeter compared to the you know the rear door, and that is definitely not right. So let's see how this back one looks. That back one looks okay. All right. Well, we're going to call it a video there, guys. That was... Unfortunately, the other cars, like I said, one of them got taken off the list. And the other one is still in the inventory yard. So we may come back Monday and do another video. Today's Friday. This is going to be... Uh... It's going to be it for the Silverado today, though. The high country. Which this thing started off as a gorgeous truck. I love this color. Like I said, I love the body style. It's optioned out. But this thing's had a hard 27,000 two-year-old life. I mean, 27,000 miles, two years old. It's, it's, it's had a hard life so far. Very, very hard life. 
So whoever owned this thing was not, not showing it too much love. Either that or it had some bad luck along the way. But either way, I don't think this one's going to be for me. But drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's worth anything, what you'd bid it to. All right, guys. As usual, I was on my way out of here and just happened to see something else that caught my eye. I love these Wranglers. I love these Wranglers. I just, just walked up to this one too. So I have no idea anything about this one. Not on my list. No idea. It's a 04 Jeep Wrangler. Um, listed as a non-runner. So we'll see. We'll see about this one. I might have to hook up the jump pack to this and see what she does. I've seen uh, it does have a little bit of damage. When I say a little bit, but I haven't even looked over here yet. It's... Okay, it does have some damage on this side. It looks like this fender was pushed up in here. Let's see if anything under here. Oh, yeah. We got the, uh, you can see there that, uh, sway, not sway bar link, but the tie rod end and the drag link there in the middle. They've been pushed back and uh, they're rubbing against the sway bar there. So those and the sway bar link right here is completely broke. The sway bar link here broke. And then you got those uh, that rod in the middle there, the tie rods that have pushed back. You can see where they impacted back there could possibly be uh could possibly be some frame damage on this one not sure but that is a decent little hit there but still i don't understand why that would make it a non-runner this looks like yeah the whole axle looks like it's been pushed back uh, okay well probably probably not going to be very interested in this one bidding on it and i guess maybe if it goes for the right price but we'll make a quick video on this eh, automatic not a huge deal breaker, but definitely would rather have stick shift than something like this. It's got some aftermarket front and rear bumpers on it. You got the aftermarket side steps. Tires on this thing, I mean, they look almost new. Let's see if I can find a date code on these. We got some Courser, Mastercraft Coursers. And they are well, not that new. From the 21st week of, let's see if I can get that in the frame there. Yeah, 21st week of 2017. I know it's upside down, but you get the point. Soft top. Seen better days. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I think the soft tops for these are around 300 bucks. But let's just go ahead and hook up. Uh, we got the airbags have blown. Also, not a big deal. I mean, parts for these are pretty readily, you know, you can find these uh, around. You may pay up a little bit for some parts, but they are, there are a lot of these around for parts. Let's go ahead. I was looking for a hood pop. I forgot there is none on this. It's been a while since I looked at a Wrangler, guys. It's been a while. I love these, though. Uh, me and one of my good buddies in North Carolina, we sold these, bought them salvage title all the time, wrecked, and we would fix these as fast as we could fix them and put them out for sale. There'd be people coming and scooping them up, and that was like, they almost sold for what the clean title one did. We got a few clean titles in, but we, we, don't, we couldn't get much more for those than the salvage titles. They all sold about the same. So let's see if I can find the, uh, is that hood prop in here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. This one listed as a non-runner. This one's got me slightly intrigued to see, you know, anybody that knows anything about these, uh, four liter engines, they're bulletproof engines. So let's go ahead. We'll check the fluids before we try to turn it over, but I'm going to get the jump pack hooked up. get it connected here all right turn that on put some power to it and let's just go ahead we got how's the coolant looking here <laughs> what's left in there a little bit of coolant at the bottom there let's see if we can see anything in the radiator here uh, that radiator looks pretty dry not a good sign not a good sign these uh you know they are bulletproof engines but a lot of these things are beat up too i mean you am sure you guys can imagine a lot of people get these to off-road them and just redline them through every swamp they find transmission fluid looks good no water in it kind of like a darker red color not too bad check the engine oil out engine oil looks good pretty clean right where it's supposed to be all right well we got a uh, at least good fluids in it. So 
except for that coolant being a little low. Let's go ahead and see what she does. Oh. Someone's got it in four low already. Put that back in the two wheel. All right, guys, you ready? All right, we got power there. See what she does. Turn, uh, someone's got the AC on too. E-brake is on. Definitely put a foot on the brake just in case. Good. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. I put it in neutral. Well, that could be one of two things. You either got something, a bad starter or bad wiring to the starter, or some kind of safety switch that's disabling the starter, or you got a locked up engine. So, that would be a quick one on the Jeep, but had to stop over and see it before we left for the day. All right, guys, we got lucky. Next one up on the list, thanks to one of the loader drivers for seeing me walking around coming to say hi and asking what i was doing and i just happened to ask him i said you know the auction's not till monday today's friday know you guys are busy but i uh, just wondering if you uh maybe i walked by one of the vehicles i had on my list and just didn't see it and i showed him it and he said nope it's in an inventory yard let me go grab it for you so he came over here moved a couple things around and went and grabbed it dropped it off and i'm <laughs> thank you thank you sir i really appreciate that uh this was uh this is gonna be the last one on the list for today but this was a, I'll have to check again and see, 96 Ford Ranger. 96 Ford Ranger. 270,000 miles, and it, it took a front end hit. It did take a, did take a nice front end hit here. Not, not horribly bad, though. And I, it's got the airbag blown on. I've seen that in the picture, but I see also seen this in the picture. Look at these tires. Like, almost brand new looking tread. And it looks like they're from 30 of 30th week of 19, so not too old. You got some paint fade up here, kind of to be expected. This one was listed as runs and drives too, matching set of tires, which, you know, when I see that on one of the cars out here, you guys probably hear me say it a lot, but when I see a matching set of tires out here, it kind of tells me that whoever had the truck took pretty good care of it. And if they put a new set of tires on it, you know, at the end of 2019, tells me the thing was probably running good enough for them to want to do that and you know the you could tell the paint and everything has been in the sun a little bit but not bad compared to a lot of stuff it definitely spent some time out of the sun bumper looks like it's in great shape almost looks like a newer bumper i wonder if that's been replaced it's got the it's got the top on it here nice little topper and back And these trucks, if anybody's had a truck, you know how awesome it is when you do need it. It is worth its weight in gold. It's so nice to haul stuff around or... This one, I'm kind of... I get too personal with all this stuff, but... I've been looking for a little fishing truck for myself and a little parts running truck. And this fits the bill right here. Also got a buddy at the gym who's looking for a, his first car. And... You know, wants to... He's on a budget. He wants to keep it as uh, cheap as possible and this might be a good option for that higher mileage truck like this might not go for that much especially being wrecked like this in the front and i don't i didn't check to see you guys tell me because i like i've said before i'm not a body and paint person but i know how to look for certain things and to me this frame does not look like it's been uh it's been bent it looks like the bumper took the the damage try to get you guys under there a little more oh god getting up getting down and up doesn't happen as fast as it used to <laughs> all right got a little bit of a little bit looks like a, a little bit of wetness from a little maybe oil oh actually that kind of looks like it's coming from if you guys can see up towards the belt there that looks like it might be the crank seal that's leaking it's not pouring out or anything we'll get this thing started up and check it out but i don't see any uh i don't see any bends in the frame or damage to the frame here i mean you guys please comment below and tell me what you think if you see anything because i don't see anything there it looks okay maybe the front's pushed down a little bit but you know you can see the body mount there in front and the bottom of the radiator support all that look 
looks okay to me, to my amateur eye. So, so far, looks like bumper. Uh, headlights look okay. Bumper, grill, hood, took a dent there. You could really get away with using that if you wanted to. But I also did just notice the gap for the hood. It's pushed way over this way, so something, hmm. Well, the fenders all look like they line up there. Let's open this thing up. Ugh. Let me check the fluids quick, get it started up. 321, so someone's got a battery in here that's, you know, a year and a half old. How's radiator coolant look? Oh, wow, completely dry. Uh, okay, maybe not as excited as I was before. We'll go ahead and start it up for a minute, but that kind of deters me. If someone's letting it get like that, and the oil's a little low, which is probably from that leak down there, but with 270,000 miles, could also, good chance it might be burning it, if this is the original engine, which I don't see any remand or replace stickers on it. Let's go ahead, we'll fire it up quick, guys. I'm not, I seen those tires and everything, I kind of got excited. I think it, maybe somebody took really good care of it, especially when I just seen that battery, but... Well, it's already making noise, so. Yeah, it started right up. Started right up. Oh. Stick shift. I did not see that in the picture. I just had my hand on it wiggling it around. Out of, <laughs> out of anybody that has a standard car, you know, just the, just feeling like, kind of like a natural reaction. But that is a big plus to me. That is a big, big plus. Big plus. Roll-up window, manual roll-up windows, and you know, is what it is. Let's see if we got out in the AC. Okay, I hear just, I think I just heard the compressor kick on. And, and, and it's blowing, oh, oh, it's good. Let's give it a little rev. You guys hear that? Oh. That's the AC compressor. Not happy. We're gonna go ahead and shut that right off. Well, uh, it's a quick one. I guess we're uh, not looking not looking too good on the old Ranger. I was I was pretty excited seeing this thing come out here. And thank you to the loader driver for bringing it over here. You're the man. But going to be it for the ranger after seeing those few little things with it the juice just ain't worth the squeeze you're going to be you know this is not going to be a high dollar truck especially with 270,000 miles kind of a shame because the rest of the truck and body looks like it's in really good shape and you know like i said about the tires and everything but it's just uh too many other little nickel and dime things to to get into it if everything else seemed perfect i would not mind fixing those um you know hood the reason the hood is over it looks like those hood uh hinges are just bent a little over so a lot of times you could just bend those back worst case replace them i wouldn't mind getting into that if it wasn't for the other little things going on with it but because of those things we'll watch what she sells for but probably not gonna be throwing any bids at it all right guys we're gonna call it a day it's friday hope you guys have a good weekend uh stay tuned we got some uh good videos coming up we got part two of the mustang which will be the first startup haven't decided if I'm going to make a part three of a driving or include that, the driving part in the part two of it. But tell me what you want to see with that. We got a vehicle that we bought, which I mentioned earlier, which we're going to have a video coming up on that. Cheapest vehicle I've ever won at Copart. Until then, you guys stay safe. Have a good weekend. I'll catch you in the next one.